Greetings nerdy list aficionados and we're back to talk about the Joker. There's been a lot of Joker talk at the time of this recording. Joaquin Phoenix, cameos, is Jared Leto gone or not? What is going on with the final Gotham version? So we've done a lot of alternate Joker versions lists, including part 5 which was my favorite because it was all about fan art and that's my jam. But of all these alternates, let's be real, some are a bit crazier, a bit cooler than others. So let's get those together in one list. I'm Sasha and these are the top 10 craziest alternate Joker versions. Number 10, Martha Wayne from Batman Night of Vengeance. This Joker emerged out of the Flashpoint event, wherein Barry Allen, the Flash, went back in time to try and stop his mom's murder. He succeeded, but destroyed the timeline. In this new timeline, it was Bruce who had been killed in the alley and not his parents, which led to two very different reactions. His father, Thomas Wayne, dedicated his life to vengeance and became a very dark version of the Dark Knight, and his mother completely snapped. She began to view the world as a chaotic land landscape, becoming the new version of the Joker. This version is rendered even more tragic by the brief glimpses of sanity that can be seen when Thomas tries to speak to her, to tell her of a world where their son survived. However, upon learning that he becomes Batman instead of his father, her mind shatters even further, and she flees, killing herself. Number 9, Emperor Joker. Seriously, this comic is underrated. This storyline ran all the way back in the year 2000, and featured a Joker who had been granted the powers of the fifth dimension. Creatures with powers like this are Batmite and Mr. Mitzelplitli. Like, yep, I butchered that. I'm not sending him back to his home dimension. That's a job for Superman. I can't even say his name forwards. This Joker remakes the world to match the inner workings of his mind, a world that is topsy-turvy and chaotic. In it, he kills Batman over and over to the point where his mind is completely shattered. And Superman has to not only save the world, but also rewrite his memory so he doesn't remember that it happened. Dark stuff. Number 8, The Jokester from Earth 3. This is that infamous reverse Earth where the heroes are bad and the villains are good. So of course on this Earth, the Joker is a hero known as the Jokester. He's trying to take on the despotic heroes. His main villain of course is Owlman, the alternate universe version of Batman. This Joker is on here because he legitimately is a hero, not some warped version, but a genuine one. Number 7, Saber Joker from the Amalgam Universe. This is coming from the imprint Amalgam Comics, wherein DC and Marvel published a combined universe, where the characters were fused together. This was after a lead up of crossovers and versus stories. After this, characters were combined based on who they felt was the most similar, which led to a combination of the Joker and Sabretooth. Now, this may seem a bit odd to some, as what exactly do Sabretooth and the Joker have in common? However, it makes more sense once you realize that Batman was fused with Wolverine to become Dark Claw. so it's both of their villains together. This version has the physicality to match their insanity, a dangerous combo and a terrifying design. Design. Still kinda odd though. Number 6, Hot Topic Joker, Jared Leto from the DCEU. Now before you punch a hole through your screen, hear me out. While this version may not have worked for everyone, it was an interesting take, beyond the whole gangster aesthetic. The Suicide Squad version from 2016 had a blend of codependence, violence, and overt sexuality that was unique. It was a blend of many Joker traits that created a version that was ultimately unstable in a whole new way. While it may have been a bit of a mess, it's one I for one would have loved to see get decimated by Batman. It was an intriguing performance. It's of note because it took risks, even if everyone didn't like it or get it. And isn't that a very, very Joker thing? Number 5, Jerome Valeska from Gotham. Oh, Gotham is just doing its own thing, isn't it? Gotham aired from 2014 to 2019. And well, let's talk about Jerome. So Jerome had an intriguing journey from not really being the Joker, instead supposedly being a prototype, an inspiration for future Jokers. Then he died, then he was brought back to life, then he had a twin who was the Joker. Just pretty much every version of the Joker that has been and beyond has been on Gotham through the years. So we've got face cut off, stapled back on, scars, bleached skin, makeup, clinically insane, manically insane, just whatever is going on with the finale version. What's crazy about this alternate version is that he's doing absolutely everything. Sometimes at the same time. Seriously, we need a flowchart. Number 4, Tim Drake from Batman Beyond in the DCAU. The DCAU is the DC animated universe and was an interconnected series 
series of cartoons that began in 1992 with Batman the Animated Series and finished in 2006 with the conclusion of Justice League Unlimited. In that time, there was a continuation of Batman called Batman Beyond, or Batman of the Future if one was in Europe. This cartoon focused on a new Batman operating in Neo Gotham and aided by an aging Bruce Wayne, taking on a whole new group of villains, some from the past and some from the future. And it featured the terrifying return of the Joker in the movie Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. In this film, it was revealed that Tim Drake, the second Robin in this continuity, was kidnapped by the Joker as a child and tortured and forced to be turned into a miniature version of him. This transformation, it turned out, continued into his old age, where he was transformed to a reincarnation of the clown prince of crime through a computer chip. It forced his whole body to take on his arch nemesis form. It was dark. Man, Batman Beyond was good. Depressing, but good. Not enough people remember it. Number three, Batman Digital Justice. This one is on here because I just wanted to say sentient computer virus. This comic came out in 1990 and was set in the future where the Joker still exists in the form of a sentient computer virus. He's turned himself into one so he can terrorize Gotham from beyond the grave. It's so Joker making plans for after he's dead to spread chaos. Love it. The people of Gotham probably don't though. Number two, the Porker, Earthsea. So you know how Marvel has that animal universe, Peter Porker, Spider-Ham, all that jazz? Well, you know, of course, DC has one too, or rather, had. With the parody comic from the 1980s, Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew, they didn't make it out of the 80s, but it still has some diehard fans. The Porker is a pig who battles against Batmouse. Don't you want to see a pig fight a mouse? You know, animal teams are just always zany, and the first cover for number one of the Animal Justice League bursting in to save a kryptonite-bound Superman who just looks really annoyed by the entire thing is fantastic. Fantastic. Love it. 10 out of 10. Number one, The Batman Who Laughs from Earth 22. Man, just the design on this is disgusting and I love it. This is Bruce Wayne. Yup, Bruce Wayne. This Batman was going along a normal path until an encounter with the Joker completely broke him. Restrained, he had to watch the Joker kill orphans, turn them into Jokerized monsters, sick them on Gotham. He destroyed his home, killed other villains, burnt Jim Gordon with acid, and it was all just too much. Bruce snapped his neck, Zod style. Also actually Maxwell Lord style, DC loves a good neck snap. This one, however, unleashed a gas that engulfed Bruce Wayne, and very much like an episode of The Batman way back in the early 2000s, it slowly warped him, turning him into a version of the Joker. This new version killed his friends, his family, everyone. It's dark, it's horrifying, and well, the Joker got the last laugh and created a horrifying alternate version. I love it. So those were some of the craziest alternate versions of the Joker. Let me know your favorite alternate version down below. I'm Sasha. Thanks so much for watching Top 10 Nerd. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and go down there, comment, watch more playlists, and come back and we'll see you soon. Bye!